in your dance bag. So if you keep these two items in your dance bag, I promise you, you will not have to worry about your breath stinking. So after you eat, after you smoke, or after you, whatever you do, or if you just have bad breath, just make sure you go and brush your teeth a couple of times before you hit that floor. That's very important. Now, you can go straight to the Dollar Tree once again and purchase a Dollar toothbrush and purchase a little small pack of, and purchase a small pack of some toothpaste. It's that simple. All right, the next tip on this list is to make sure you keep yourself smelling good at all times. So this hot one will make sure your breath um, smells good, but it's very important to make sure that you smell good because as a dancer, you're sweating a lot. And when you're sweating, you start to stink. So you wanna make sure that you just keep freshening yourself up, like go to the bag, wipe yourself down, um, make sure you keep deodorant on you. Make sure you keep perfume on you. You just want to make sure that you smell good at all times. And I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, like, smelling good. Customers will remember the dancers that smell good. It's very important to smell good because, first of all, you're going to stand out. Because let's just say you walk up to a customer, a girl before you could have been stinking. And you walk up next after that girl and you smell very, very good. That customer is going to want to dance you over that girl. That customer is definitely going to want to dance you because you don't stink like that's going to give you an advantage for that customer to dance you so then you can go to your local dollar tree and purchase some perfume or some deodorant i keep mentioning dollar tree y'all because i like to save money so i shop on a budget and every time i need stuff mainly like little stuff in my dance bag i always go to the dollar tree and i stock up on my bag Alright, so the last thing on this list, the last tip that I want to tell you guys is to make sure you keep your tampons in check. Now, I know some of y'all was waiting for me to bring this up because you probably some like, well, what do we do about our tampons? Now, so for some of the, so if you're a dancer and you work on your period, I highly recommend to not work the first day on your period just because of the simple fact the first day of your period can sometimes just be very heavy. For some girls, so if that's you, if you want those girls in your period, is very heavy. Don't work on your first day. But if you do work the next few days on your period, always make sure you keep extra tampons in your bag. Always make sure if you cut the string, just it, if you one of the girls that cut the string off the tampon and tuck it up there, just make sure that do the bend over check and make sure that your tampon is not showing or even if you don't cut the string just make sure your tampon is not showing now answer one of your friends check for you but you just want to make sure that your tampon is not showing it has been plenty of times where girls have gotten on stage or where they was just even dancing for a customer and then tampon string was showing and sometimes sometimes you have dancers that will see that girl dancing and they won't even tell her that her string showing so that girl will just be sitting there looking embarrassed and customers the customers will be talking about her so in order for you in order for that not to be you just make sure your tampon is just always tucked in always go to the back every few every once in a while to check on your tampon and make sure you're changing your tampon because you do not want to have an odor on your period. Make sure you change your tampon on a regular. And also, if you one of those girls that have witnessed a girl tampon showing while she's dancing and you didn't tell her, shame on you. Like, shame on you, sis. You should have told her. Me, personally, when I have seen a girl with her tampon showing, I personally went to her. I didn't make a scene. I just went to her, pulled her to the side and said, hey, babe, go to the back and check your tampon. Because that's what we need to do as dancers. We don't need to be... Seeing her and letting another stripper go out bad because I promise you, even though it reflects bad on her, that's going to reflect bad on the whole club. But that sums it up for all the tips that I have to give you. I hope you follow some of these hygiene tips. was very helpful to some of you guys. But that concludes this video. If you're new to my channel, just make sure you go ahead and subscribe for me. And I try to up I'm out. That's the end of this video. Bye, girl. <laughs>